Hello, everyone. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you for your enthusiasm. This is what I'm like. <laughs> this is me all the time. I'm like if a cardigan were a person, so <laughs> let's get cozy for a little while, shall we? I had a pretty good 2017 despite 2017, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about it. My wife and I adopted a dog that's very exciting for us. Yeah, oh, thank you. She's a pug, so scientifically she shouldn't even exist, so every day's a miracle with our little dumpling. <laughs> if you can't imagine a pug from the name of the breed, it's one of those dogs, looks like a loaf of white bread with a face smushed onto the front slice and a butt smushed onto the back slice. <laughs> and if you've never hung out with a pug before, it's kind of like if that loaf of bread came some of the way to life. That's her vibe. <laughs> She's so cute, I love her so much. Her name is Busy, but it wasn't always. <laughs> when we adopted her, her name was Daisy, but we didn't like that, so we switched it to Busy, which is very rude of us. <laughs> because when we adopted our dog, she was eight years old. <laughs> you guys get that's middle age for a dog. That's like meeting a 56-year-old human and going, what's your name, Deborah? Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call you Barbara. Hope that works for you. I mean, you better be cool with it, because I control all the food and water, and you're too small to reach the doorknob, so... Anyway, Babs, I was thinking... <laughs> Let's get you into your Halloween costume, and yes, I know it's January, but I'm sad right now, so for the next several hours, you're gonna be a ladybug. <laughs> I got married last year, that was very wonderful, thank you. It's the best, it was so good, I should have mentioned it first. <laughs> My wife is amazing, and I know it sounds corny, but she really does make me want to be a better person. That's real. Thank you. She's a big reader, and I've been going through her favorite authors to understand how she sees the world. And I recently came across a famous feminist quotation by Canadian author Margaret Atwood, which is probably how many of your favorite jokes start. <laughs> Margaret Atwood once wrote, men are afraid women will laugh at them, women are afraid men will kill them. Yeah, that's heavy. And I don't know how to feel about that as a man who is also afraid that men will kill him. <laughs> Worst case scenario, while a woman laughs, if I'm being totally honest. <laughs> when I get up in the middle of the night for a glass of water, I get fully clothed. And I don't just mean t-shirt, boxers. I'm talking blazer, high tops. <laughs> and that's not because I'm modest in front of my wife or nervous the neighbors will see me nude through the window. It's because my greatest fear in the world is that there's a burglar in our apartment, ready to take all our stuff. But before he does, he sees my naked body and just goes, weird dick loser, bang, and that's it for me, I'm done. <laughs> then my wife wakes up giggling like, you did have kind of a weird one. <laughs> and then they get married to each other. <laughs> and I'm just stuck in the apartment as a ghost haunting them forever, like every dick is kind of a weird one. <laughs> and that's why I'm a feminist, that's my journey. We all have our own, thank you. I'm trying to be more attuned to little acts of sexism when I see them. For example, back when we were engaged, people would ask my then fiance, now wife, all the time, right in front of me, if she was going to take my last name. Which is a little presumptuous, and it's a little sexist, right? Because no one ever asked me if I was going to give it to her, huh? <laughs> if I was just going to let her embrace the poetry that is Gondelman into her life every day, forever? That's my name, and it's my choice. <laughs> it is so political what you do with a name especially for women. It's who you are. Some people keep theirs, some switch. I know a bunch of couples, both parties hyphenate. That's a good solution in the short term. Long term creates more problems than it solves. Because <laughs> what if you hyphenate? You have a baby. That little hyphen grows up, marries another hyphen. <laughs> then, at their wedding, their last names both become sonnets, just like that. <laughs> it's too much. I have a friend whose name is James Irving Thompson. That's a wonderful name, rich with family heritage and tradition. Last two hyphenated, no big deal. But what if he goes out and marries a woman named Kelsey Love Smith? Also a wonderful name, but on their wedding day, he becomes James Irving Thompson Love Smith. That's not one man's name. That is literally the starting lineup of last season's Cleveland Cavaliers. It is. I know I don't look like I know that, but I know that. <laughs> I learned it for you, because you, audience, also make me want to be a better person. <laughs> Thank you guys so much.